Oh, we gotta go. Hey guys, it's a uh, seven o'clock oh. melodrama time. Oh, oh my gosh. We are, we're alive. Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Okay. 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 Both at the same time. All right, all right. When I, we, were thinking about how to approach this year's show, what we were thinking about was how to distill a hundred years of history. Mm, highly contested history. Quite right. Indeed. Indeed. Highly contested history of our fair city. Town. Town. Exactly, <laughs> town. <laughs> and do it with some sort of class, taste, decorum. Mm. And we both know there's only one way to do that. Of course. <laughs> Comedy. Opera. Comedy. Comedy, of course. Um, but the Santa Fe Fiesta melodrama has been a rock of a tradition for the past hundred years. Andy himself has been involved for the past eight which is pretty incredible. Yes, um, it's an old tradition and most of the jokes are just as old. <laughs> no laughter there. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the heroes, tell us about the heroes and the villains and how it's audience participatory, you know, required. It's a it'll very be different on, on, on the screen. Yeah, it's a very special type of theater when you see it live because the audience is really a character in the play and they respond in real time to the characters on stage. They, they cheer for the hero, they boo the villain, and when the, when the heroine comes on, they, they swoon for them, yes. And, and maybe sometimes there might be something going on uh, on stage and you might want to warn a character about it. You might want to say something like, look out behind you, yeah, or something like that. It's, it's, it's great fun, but we had to figure out how to do this this year without that audience. That's right, because even though the melodrama has been being performed on the Santa Fe Playhouse stage for the past hundred years, this year we had to, we wanted to find a different way to do it, and we decided to do it uh, through film. Yes, moving pictures. Camera. We, we set our sights very high. We did. Yes, when um, I think of the Herculean task that it took to bring this to stage, well, I don't know. I mean, I would never deign to use the word genius, but I mean. Well, I mean, it certainly did take a Herculean amount of teamwork and patience, but, but we, we did it. We, we planned our shot lists. We chose locations outside because of the pandemic. We kept our actors and our crew safe. Everyone was always six feet away. And that provided us with certain, you know, creative challenges, which I feel our entire team was really up, up to take. I agree. I agree. I was proud to be part of this team. Uh, proud to continue to be part of this team because this is only the first episode of six. And so as we go, we'll come up with more ways to try to be interactive in real time and to involve people and do all sorts of things in our, in our intro segments like this. But for now, we're just thrilled to be here with you as we are virtually in real time. And we're so grateful for, for you for viewing. We hope you enjoy this episode. Please know that each episode will get better and better as we learn what we're doing. But we're excited. Very and I'm excited. really, really excited and grateful to have you all here. So thank you so much. Yes. And now, without further ado. The third annual. 99th annual. Santa Fe 
Fiesta Melodrama. We'll see you after the show. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale of the Fiat de Santa Fe As old as dirt and it's made of dirt and it's still made of dirt today Our heroes are a ragtag group of misfits, that's for sure Who all signed up that fateful day for a three-hour tour A three-hour tour But little did our locals know the future had been bought by a top headed villain with a nasty grin and a cruel Caucasian plot. A cruel Caucasian plot. They knew they had to team up to defeat this plan most vile with the troubadour. The true guide to a millionaire and his wife. An artist guy, the professor, and an old man here in Santa Fe style. I'm Genoviva, and I'll be your tour guide. Now, who's ready for a celebratory fiestas tour? Is this Fast and Real Tours? No, this is the tour spot, the original. Fast and Real is the exact same tour, just not as good. Okay, just because you got the tour spot name in the divorce does not invalidate my tours. They're just like me. Fast and real. Salvi. Did things not pan out with that spicy enchilada I saw you with at the bullring? Oh, they panned out all right. I have a question. When do we start tour? Adios. Why? If it isn't, my favorite local tourist, Caroldine Peterson Sin and her husband, El Jefe Besos, from Indiana. Is it Friday already? <laughs> oh, it's definitely Friday. And as of yesterday, I've dated every single woman in this town. Twice. Wow. You folks must really love Santa Fe to come on a tour here every week. Sup? Pino Giorgio Key. No relation to either. I was told for an artist, the landscape out here is to die for, so I came out here with TV. Are you talking about Teresa Baca? You brought her here? You bastard! Sure! I love Santa Fe. I made my fortune here with a book. <clears throat> the delivering books to shut-ins or the elderly. Also, I can't get enough of these stucco walls. There's nothing like that in Muncie, where we're originally from. Indiana, huh? Indiana? Now is that different from country folk Anna? Or maybe I'm thinking about new metal Anna. You know, which was the Anna that was in that mariachi band? I think I saw them down at the Tumble Hoot last fall. They're the band Annas. Uh, yes. Uh, I saw them at the, the Santa Ana Casino. <laughs> Actually, if I could replace all of the locals here with you know, people who look like me, it would be heaven on earth. <laughs> or, or in your case, dirt. This town is a little bit too brown. And I'm not talking about the stucco. <laughs> Please excuse my husband. He hasn't had breakfast yet. He is a little intolerant when he's hungry. <laughs> I am not racist. Why can't they ever make these with white chocolate? <laughs> white chocolate isn't even real chocolate. Doesn't matter, as long as it's white. Santa Fe's diversity and inclusivity is what makes this a magical place. Not for long. What? I said, um, how uh, long until the tour starts? <laughs> uh, 
and we're walking. We're walking. That's the Katrin building, correct? Did you know that the Katrin building was home to the corrupt Santa Fe ring in the late 19th century? See, si, claro, of course. <laughs> That's on the regular version of this tour. What's your sign? Oh, <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. Liz Otero Warren. Shh. You've probably read about me. Um, influential suffragette? No. I ran for Congress. First woman to ever do that? Well, I was just protesting the ass tax on the plaza. Coop up the cops! Corral the police! Hide that ass! Arrest that priest! And I saw you guys walk by, so I decided to join. The ass tax? Have you seen the way people just tie up their donkeys in every alley? You can't even tell whose ass is whose sometimes. And the way some people treat their asses. So, I was just hosting the ass rally, making sure that every ass was heard. Okay, so which side of the ass tax are you on? Uh, well, both sides, really. Or, I guess maybe more in the middle? So you're kind of a centrist in this whole ass issue. Unless your asses have any other issues, let's keep walking. And when we make it to the end of the tour, we all get a free complimentary Zia symbol tattoo in honor of our brand new state flag. Compliments of Susana Martinez. Our brand new Cross of the Martyrs. Nothing colonial to see here. <laughs> Moving on. Longer than normal. May we now go to evidence room, a police department? The SFPD evidence room is so sorely neglected and disorganized, you could hide Tia Coco and Zizobra in there and no one would notice. I was actually just protesting that last week. The city wants to spend 40 grand to keep that old neglected building from burning up. And they're using out of state contractors. Gee, no police? Then who's gonna put a gun on you when your house gets broken in on to break down on your door and punch down on your dog and never follow up? Yeah, and who else is gonna live in Rio Rancho? Fine point. Mm. We need to protect our suburbs, am I right? This bunch is worse than all those kids I used to nanny at Santa Fe Prep. Can you really get us into the evidence room? I still have the key to the city from when I won second place at Bizmix for my ideal about compostable straws made from straw. Ah, so that's where I met you. I won first place for my luxury plastic straws made from organic toxic waste. A drink lasts an evening. A straw lasts forever. Don't just live half a life. Your wife hates them. Turtles love them. No. You know me because you've taken this tour 100 times in the past year. And I'm your regular waitress at the shed. The shed? Is that a restaurant? No. It's just that shed over there. Uh. And now. We find ourselves in the most mysterious part of the police department. The evidence room. More things go missing from here than Bill Richardson's tequila warehouse. I can't believe it. Are we actually allowed to be in here? Oh yeah, the police never come in here. In fact, no one seems to care what goes in or out of this room. That's worrisome. Speaking of forgotten treasure, Wow, look at this old door. Uh, it's a portal, or at least that's what I've heard. Salvador! Get out of that sack of flour! 
That is not flour. Let PM raise their rates again? No pasa nada, mijo. This happens all the time in here. Actually, come to think of it, this happens on every tour. Faulty wire or something. Huh? County Treasurer's Day? Aren't we supposed to be getting ready for fiestas? What's fiestas? Did you like it? What did you think? What I did liked you think? it. Did yeah. you like it? I liked it. Was it was fun. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm really curious. Like, where are these people? Why do their people not know what fiestas are and they're wearing bonnets? Like, that's so weird. It's weird. I'm dying to know what happens next. Me too. And how you can find out what happens next is on Thursdays at 7, if you go to our YouTube page, the Santa Fe Playhouse YouTube page, you can see the episode for free. And if you miss it, just go to our website, santafeplayhouse.org, and you can follow the links to where you can watch the episode. Absolutely. So we look forward to seeing you then. Also next week, I don't know if you knew this. What? We're going to have a special guest host. <gasps> yeah. Yes. Very special. Wait for the announcement. I just want to say again that this was such an incredible project for us all, mostly because we got to meet so many new people, new talent, actors, crew, tech people. The Santa Fe Playhouse actually employed over 30 artists this month making this show. So please do take a moment, go to our website, check it out, donate. The donate uh, button is in the top right corner. And if you go to our YouTube page, please become a subscriber. We would really love that. Well, all right then. Is that it? Is that it? I think... I think until next week. I don't want it to be over. No, too fun. But there's more. 
There's more. Right, episodes. Okay, here we go. Here we are. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, it's been a long night. Okay. Bye. Okay. Yes.